Visit arborday.org. See how together we can plant our future. A look at some of the news of note with Michael Badger from Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. Hello, good evening, and welcome to News View for Octo um, October, January, January 28th, 2011. Yeah, January. And the first story is at the U of I, University of Illinois campus, crews are installing shower doors and dorm rooms and dorm room bathrooms following a series of assaults and peeping toms that hit the area recently. Um, and that is according to WCIA News. If you want to see more, go to IllinoisHomePage.net or WCIA.com. And in other news, New York City uh, has yet another snowstorm barreling down on them. According to CBS New York, the sanitation department's working hard to deal with the snow that dumped 19 inches on Central Park, and they've deployed 365 salt spreaders, 1,700 snow plows, and crews working 12-hour shifts to clear the streets. And in other news, according to the Vancouver Sun, a border collie was found frozen in a block of ice left in somebody's front yard. Uh, this is under investigation by British Columbia's SPCA investigators, and it's possible that another animal ate some of the dog's innards. The, the, um, they're investigating this disturbing case and the man discovered the dog January 15th, but he told officers he had no idea why, it is, why its frozen body was left on his property. He said he thought he'd seen everything, but um, well, it's another sad story. A dog found encased in ice or left in a man's yard for some reason we don't know. And another snowstorm is barreling down on the northeast, like I said, and uh, the storm came in two rounds. Heavy snow fell in Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City, and southern New England. Uh, the heavy snow rates with thunder and lightning then moved northward through portions of eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. This according to Chris Dulce, a meteorologist for the Weather Channel. And the snow totals are Hartford, Connecticut, 12 inches, South Boston, 11.5 inches, New York, 19 inches, 
uh, Baltimore 7.8 inches and Washington 5 inches. So that's what's going on there. And I think we'll go to a break and come back with more news view after this. And welcome to News View, in case you're just tuning in. And if you have any news stories, ideas, opinions, or complaints, you can email them to me at newsview at email.com. That's the address where you can reach News View. And like I said, comments, questions, ideas, complaints, all can be sent to newsview at email.com. That's the email address for Newsview. And getting back into the news, um, the uh, according to the UK Daily Mail Online, in Japan, uh, the, uh, a volcano has erupted, scattering ash and rocks across a lot of southern Japan. It can be seen for miles, the uh, smoke and lightning hit the volcano as it was erupting. And, and um, um, that's that story. And, um, an Ohio mom, mother who was who falsified records to send her children to a different school district in a better part of Ohio will spend 10 days in jail. Um, so, um, so she, she was trying to get her kids out of What's a bad neighborhood and better education? Uh, but she falsified her records, like I said, and will be in jail for 10 days. And in other news, the White House is in the belief that Egypt's government is stable. Um, White House spokesman Robert Gibbs said that the U.S. believes the government is stable despite the protests against it. He also told reporters that the protesters had an obligation not to engage in violence. And he said that President Barack Obama has frequently encouraged the Egyptian President Mubarak to engage in political reforms um, as the turmoil in Egypt continues. And we also have Illinois' um, uh, Lignit from the, uh, the uh, football team, the Illini football team, is going to bypass his senior season and enter the 2011 NFL Draft. And he had 63 tackles and four and a half sacks. Leggett was named to fourth team All-American honors and second team All-Big Ten team. And um, he, was, he says, quote, playing at the University of Illinois was a wonderful experience. 
and that he will always remember it, but he feels he is ready to take the next step to enter the National Football League draft. And Illinois is one of four schools that have had three underclassmen enter this year's draft. The other three schools are Alabama, Auburn, and Pittsburgh. Vigert will join Illini teammates running back Michael Lashur and linebacker Martiz Williams, Wilson, Martiz Wilson, who each for for go, for go, for went their college careers to join the year's draft. Um, that from um, digtrade.com and also from Nine News Now, WUSA TV Nine, WUSA Nine dot com, reporting that and. Um, like I said before, if you have any comments or questions or complaints, just email me at newsview at email dot com, and we we expect to see some snow, a little snow Saturday. So stay tuned for the weather forecast, as well as um, maybe a Crime Stoppers bulletin. Right here on News View, your Champaign Urbana, Illinois, USA newscast. Thanks for watching, and I can also be found at YouTube at IOPH3. That's the channel name. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a very pleasant evening, and stay tuned for more News View. weather forecast. So for Friday night, you should have um, light snow, Champaign-Urbana, and a low around 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your Saturday, some snow, high temperature 35 degrees Fahrenheit, and some snow, and then Saturday night, Low should reach 21 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Sunday, high temperature of 28 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. And for your Sunday night, a low temperature should reach 21 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies again. This is Michael Badger. And this has been your News View weather forecast for the weekend. Hi, I'm Michael Badger presenting with the Champaign County Crime Stoppers Bulletin. The Champaign Police are seeking information regarding an attempted armed robbery that occurred on Saturday, November 13th at the Circle K gas station located at 601 North Neal Street, Champaign. An employee reported that a subject entered the store twice and removed products from the freezer, stating he would come back later to purchase them. 
The third time he entered the business, he was holding a knife in his hand and approached the window at the cash register area, yelling at the employee. The employee was able to secure and lock the window. The suspect then dropped the knife and fled the area northbound on foot. No one was injured in the incident and no items were taken. The suspect is described as a black male in his early 30s, six foot zero inches tall, medium build with brown eyes and black hair and braids. He was wearing a black stocking cap, black jacket, and black pants. If you have any information regarding the suspect's identity and or location, call Crime Stoppers at 217-373-TIPS or 217-373-8477. Information can also be sent by anonymous web tip by going to www.373tips.com, www.373tips.com, or by sending an anonymous cell phone text to the following, tip 397 plus the information to C-R-I-M-E-S or 274637. The information you provide is confidential. You do not have to give your name or appear in court. Crime Stoppers will pay a reward if the information you provide leads to an arrest for this crime. Cash rewards are also paid for information on other felony crimes or fugitives in the Champaign County area. I'm Michael Badger. This has been your Crime Stoppers of Champaign County report.